Previously on Total Recall. I'm pleased to announce a settlement has been arrived at between our union and Minocom Mining. Mr. Atwater, there have been rumors circulating here today that this agreement really benefits the company more than it does the miners' union. The indication is that it will pass unanimously. And what about the rumor that in two years' time, service and... The whole building was locked down as soon as Atwater was shot. I need a code to open this. Makes you wonder how the shooter got it. I am not here to hurt you. I'm gonna do that myself. Ready for self-termination. He's still alive, dude. DNA check makes the kid Ray Dalton. Lives in Lower South with his sister. No other relatives. I want to talk to the sister. Protect my little brother. You want me to help Ray? You have my word. Larry Becker. I wasn't talking about you, Larry. I was talking about Ray Dalton. He's a good kid. What he did, there's 50 others should have. Becker is lying about androids replacing humans to kill Atwater's agreement. I do believe this is what is referred to as an implant. Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. This Ray Dalton and I were communicating. The link was broken when he tried to kill himself. But I experienced some kind of symbiosis with him. Hey, you know, speaking of Ray Dalton, you know, we found something in his head, something that proves that he didn't know when they pulled the trigger. Which means there's a murder charge out there waiting for whoever put it in him. Right now, I think that's you, Larry. No! You all right? Yeah. Larry's in business with some doctor. Doctor, I need names, Cliff. Come I on, names. I don't know his name. No names. Who? Easy does it. Becker's in business with a doctor. I'm thinking it's Latham. The only logical choice. Find him. It may be too late. have a lead on Latham. You want to elaborate on that? It ends at the Mars One jump port, meaning he's on his way to Mars or hiding out in the jumps. I'm sending a squad over there right now to run it down. Lieutenant, let us handle it. It's personal. The technology in Ray's implant is the same technology that created me. Felix Latham, you're under arrest for the murder of Lorne Atwater. Murder? Atwater died about an hour ago.
The silent interview. That's a novel concept. I guess Favre is trying to gain the psychological advantage. He said he experienced a work connection with Latham back at the jump. And the same thing with the kid. What is it? Front desk called. A lawyer from Recall just showed up. He claims he represents Dr. Latham. What is Recall doing coming in on this? You know what? Put him in my office and stall. Make him comfortable. Well, how far should I take it? He doesn't seem like the kind of lawyer who stalls easily. Stop just short of using your fists. Okay. I'll try and speed this thing along. Sorry to break up this little moment. Nice technique, Favre. Look, with Atwater dead, we're no longer talking about attempted murder. We got us a big fat murder charge. The charge you cannot prove. We discovered a second implant in Ray Dalton's brain. We believe this implant motivated Ray's second attempt on Atwater's life, and that you inserted it during surgery. That's a bitch about living in this world, Doc. You just can't do anything anymore without leaving a record. Once the implant is removed, Tests will confirm the date and time of its insertion. Add in the mind control charge. And we're talking about a capital crime, meaning you want to talk to us now, that's okay. You want to get a lawyer down here, that's okay too. I'm not a fool, detective. I will cooperate with you on condition that you acknowledge the fact that I was coerced, that I was forced to do what Forced to what? Did. You turn this kid into a killer, now you want a deal? I don't know. Look, there isn't much time. Hmm. That's where you're wrong. We have all the time in the world, don't we, Favre? No. I didn't ask for a lawyer, but recalls will be here any minute. When you release me, we won't have a chance to talk again, not without recalls lawyer being present. You're not talking to us much now. What interest does recall have in all of this? What is it, Latham? They trying to break the union? What? I was working for a miner called Becker. That's all I can tell you. Becker? Was he working for recall? Huh? Is that why they got a lawyer down here trying to cover their involvement? We're about to find out. What is it? It's not just any recall lawyer that showed up to represent Latham. They sent in the big guns. Brennan McGuire is waiting in Arenthal's office right now. They're waiting for you and I to join them. You and Favre watch the good doctor, then in about five minutes, bring him in Arenthal's office. I'm not ready to give Latham up. I think giving him up may be the best move you can make right now. It's unusual that Recall would get involved in this, don't you think? Especially sending in Brendan McGuire. Well, they really must have something to hide. You need to know what it is. All right. Recall's involvement gives you there to watch the game. But you're doing it from the sideline. Well, I'm just here to make sure everybody plays fair. I have the right to see my client now, without any bogus maneuvering on your part. <laughs> What happened to all those smooth-talking Ivy League mouthpieces Recall used to bring in? Uh, they're buried at the bottom of a deep pit. I not only dug the hole, I hit him over the head with a shovel. I want Latham inside this room in less than five minutes, all right? Or I got your badge. You know, I can live with that. But before I start clearing out my desk, maybe you can fill me in on the connection between Recall and Atwater. Recall and Atwater. There is none. Then why the rush to get Latham out? He's not a Recall employee. As far as we know, he never has been. Well, uh, Latham once assisted us in a, um, in a matter requiring his expertise. Recall has an incredible loyalty to its employees, past, present, and future, so, you know, we owed him. You owe him. Hmm. Funny, I'm thinking he doesn't really want to go with you. Oh, is that right? Well, why don't you call him in here and we can ask him? Or you better have a damn fine reason for keeping Latham from counsel, because if you yeah, don't... Here he is now. Dr. Latham, I must... Dr. Latham! See you. Doctor? 
this a judicial release order? Save us some time, Latham. Just tell this clown you don't want to go with him. Latham, go ahead. I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Oh, glad we cleared that up. <clears throat> this is to confirm the doctor's been released on bail of $1 million. Oh, we have questions for him. Do you? The doctor's received due process. He's to be released. He'll be available to talk to you after we've had a chance to consult. Hey, you know, things have changed since you got your little piece of paper there, McGuire. There's special circumstances, Dad. Detective. Because Latham used Detective. to Detective. What? Mind control vis-a-vis -vis some kind of implant nobody's ever seen before. It's a complicated case to make. He walks out of here, you don't see him again. You got that. He walks, we do not see him again. You have the order, unless you intend to charge him any further. I'm ready, let's charge him. I'm releasing him into your custody as I'm required to do. When we demand it, you will produce him as you are required to do. Thank you. See you in court, gentlemen. Surveillance unit will pick them up the minute they hit the street. And who'd be running that surveillance? Investigating recall is the special purview of the assessor's office. Once again, our purview is overlapping. What was all that between you and Latham? I experienced another moment of connection. You all right? Dr. Latham has a surprisingly detailed knowledge of my auditory subsystem. What do you say? It wasn't so much what he said as the manner in which he said it. I'm sorry, David, it is taking a moment for my internal systems to adjust to his input data. Father, I'm having a real bad day right now, right? Just tell me what the man said. If anything should happen to me, you'll find everything you need in my diary. Protect it well. You're the only one who'll be able to decipher its secrets. Clearly, he's afraid for his life. You doing anything right now? No. You say we go see where they're taking. Recalls uh, retained the services of Dr. Michael Spencer, one of the world's foremost pathologists, so he can supervise Dr. Lathan's autopsy. He's on his way here right now, so obviously I think they should wait. I don't think so. Recalls got their own quack on his way down here? I heard. Why don't you come into my office, make yourself at home? I know it's been a hell of a day for you. I said we should wait. This is a very serious matter. We're treating it as such. And if you don't hold off, I'll just get a court order and force you to. You know, you may not have the time, Counselor, now that you're a key witness in a murder investigation. Are you trying to intimidate me? No, you'll know when I'm doing that. You're just a witness to me, and you're going to be interviewed like everybody else. This is unusual. So is this case. Not to mention the fact that after releasing Dr. Latham into your custody, he was dead five minutes later. We were ambushed. You can take my statement anytime, all right? Right now, the issue at hand is taking your statement. Formally, I agree. Let's go. Lieutenant Aaron, Look, hot shot. You can either cooperate or have Morales cuff you and drag you into the interrogation room. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. 
there. Now I'm intimidating you. I hope you have some money put away. Before all this is over, I'll have you so tied up in lawsuits, you'll have to cash out your pension to pay the electric bill. You know, I actually like living in the dark. Ian? Yes, Ola? An implant. You don't seem surprised. The existence of the implant confirms something I had suspected. The connection you felt? Yes. I'm going to do a section on it. This one is remarkably similar, if not exactly the same as the one we removed from Ray's brain. Alpha technology implanted into the brains of two men. It's very One man. strange. One man, Olan. Latham is something other. How so? I would like you to look at the blood analysis and confirm my results. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be damned. A clone. Almost identical, except when referenced against DNA tests. So you tell me the real Latham, he's still out there? As unlikely as it sounds, yes. From the absence of toxins and our analysis of genetic markers in his blood, we've determined that he is only weeks old. That's impossible, right? There's no way a clone only a few weeks old could have learned all that the real Latham knows. Yeah, it would take a lifetime. Since Latham is a clone, it follows that it's possible. The implant is the only logical explanation. This is the same kind of thing they used on Ray? The implant technology itself is identical, yes. It is the same technology used to build my memory systems. Memory systems? Recall. Which may well explain their involvement. Further tests may confirm the implant's exact origin. Vecchio, can you bring me in Latham's personal belongings, please? There was nothing out of the ordinary on the body, and nothing related to recall. Thanks. What are you looking for, David? The diary Latham mentioned. There wasn't one on the body. Can I keep the assessor's office off my back for a couple hours? Mm-hmm. What about McGuire? He'll keep. That's got it. The comparison section with Ray Dalton's implant suggests both were manufactured using the same process and materials. If we can get a high enough magnification, we might find a serial number to match. If these things even have a serial number. Confirming the point of origin could lead us to the maker of both. Which in turn may lead us to whoever made the alpha technology. <laughs> had this knowledge about the structure of your own brain, or is it being built on patterns of recognition? The recognition is instinctual. There are certain things in my mind to which I've had nothing to compare externally until now. In pure Kantian terms, any sense of their existence without solid objective evidence would have been nothing more than an illusion. Discovering the implant technology has in a way, connected me to a part of myself I'd never met. Should be reassuring. Like humans, alpha androids are also plagued by illusion.
How's he doing? Far's been that way since he recovered. He's doing an internal self-diagnostic on his system. Any idea what caused it yet? No. One minute we were doing a biopsy on the implant we removed from Latham, and the next minute he was in a seizure. All right. There are references here to living tissue implants. Cell regeneration, memory systems based on living tissue and organics. It's a project development history. Sounds like the kind of stuff you'd use to make an alpha. Uh, based on what we know from examining the actual implants, yes. Latham, he developed all this. Uh, possibly by Latham or with Latham working with others. But I don't believe that Recall has this kind of technology in its possession and is keeping it under wraps. Are you using this? Hmm? No. Can I borrow it? Yeah, it's old. It's OK. You think you're doing keeping me locked up like this? My job. Not for long, my friend. If you don't let me out of here. Calm down, or else I get tied to that chair. Hey, excuse me. You can't talk to me like that. Sure, I can. Especially since you just went from being a witness to the primary suspect. <laughs> You're out of your mind. No. No. The autopsy came back, revealing a brain implant. The same kind of implant that caused Ray to shoot at water. I'm betting when it's all analyzed, it's going to lead us straight to recall. My job is to act as spokesman and legal advocate for recall. I know very little about their advanced technologies. Latham does. And today, you bailed them out. Why? We're one step away from breaking this whole thing open, McGuire. Right now, the lab's going over volumes of evidence that Latham directed us to. All of it. All of it linking recall to the implants. What evidence? Latham's diary, neatly organized to throw the blame off of him and onto Rico. Maybe. But Latham alone can't be the source of the Alpha technology. Where's it from? Obviously, someone who has an Alpha. Well, you and I both know that Rico doesn't have that technology yet. No, I don't know. But I'm going to find out. I were to help you verify Latham's evidence and turn him over to you all at the same time. You do all that and you might be in the clear. I'm going to have to get out of here and back to recall to do it. I hope you know what you're doing. I know we got nothing. This might be something. He's into this, up to his ass. Where's Callie? Over at Recall, looking for you. Thanks. I haven't had a chance to tell him about uh, Latham being a clone, or whatever it is that's going on with Far. The longer Callie's out of this, the better. My diagnostics are complete. All systems appear to be normal. Good. Now all we have to do is find Latham. I've discovered a unique connection with Dr. Latham. One that will give us some insight into his motives and whereabouts. Nothing personal, but the last time we tried this connection thing, it didn't pan out so good. Bear with me, David. I think it would be better if I demonstrate this ability in the interrogation room. What do you think the chances are that Farr is infected with another virus? This is how it started the last time. David? Lieutenant. What you're about to see, you will see from Dr. Latham's point of view. What are you talking about, Farv? My response to Latham was much more powerful than my response to Ray, because the living tissue in Latham's implant was made in the same way as the tissue in my own memory systems, hence the seizure. Your response to what? It seems I have the ability to recreate, even broadcast my internal recollections, or in this case, the internal recollections of another person that have been passed on to me. 
Latham. Yes, David. Proceed with your demonstration. second one that'll get the job done now you need to get a hold of yourself because this has to be done right now let me see her now please nothing to do with you. She never hurt anyone. My angel. It's not irreversible. You do this last job for me and I'll give her back to you. Good as new. Take the implant out of Ray's head and replace it with another. No one will ever know. It's a small price to pay to save your angel. The young woman behind the glass is Latham's daughter. Explains why he's in business with someone like Larry Becker. How do we know this isn't just some elaborate smokescreen concocted by Latham to throw us off his trail while he tries to get the hell off planet? I think it's something else. Some kind of insurance policy in case he can't or the clone didn't work. There is one more piece of information. It may provide us with Latham's location. That's the Harbor District. I believe I pointed out that same barge to you once before, David. Did you make a note of those letters? Yes. We can use them to track down that particular barge. It may be where Latham is hiding. Do we have anything more solid than this? I'm afraid not. And if I am mistaken regarding Dr. Latham's motives, we may be walking into an ambush. Investigating Dr. Latham. Are you playing little games with me? 
Do you know what's at stake here? I just got back from a place where you never want to go. And you know what I found when I got there? I found out that Recall isn't involved in this. How can you be sure? Right now, a team of Recall security personnel, along with men from the Assessor's Division, are cleaning out McGuire's office and removing all his files. That's right, Lieutenant. Recall is cutting McGuire loose. Apparently, they know less about his extracurricular activities than we do. He's in business with Latham? Becker! Looks like they were in business to break the miners' union. No one knows why, and I don't care. What I do care about is finding Latham and that implant technology. I wasn't playing games. I was simply buying Hume some time. He left this just before he and Favre went out to find Dr. Latham. So this morning with Dr. Latham, you've been treating me with a measure of suspicion, David. But it's not that I'm doubting you. It's nothing personal. I understand. You believe there is something in the structure of an alpha android's personality that makes it fundamentally untrustworthy. Look, it's obvious Latham knows more about how you were made than even you do. If he turns out to be your creator, that just it makes me feel uneasy. David, Dr. Latham is a specialist in living tissue memory systems. Very important to my design. But everything he told me leads me to believe that he is just one of a large number of contributors, not my overall designer. CPB, we want to go down to the waterfront. It's high tide right now, which means the cargo barges are moving through the port. We're looking for a cargo barge. I have to warn you, the Port Authority is not responsible for any residual contamination the individual barges may have received during their previous visits. We know the song and dance. Just take us down. What was on the desk you left for Callum? The rules of the game. Surprises. If there are any, they won't be from this side. David. The same barge you saw before. Yes. It's just a feeling. What you'd call a gut feeling. But it doesn't have the same positive energy to head that night. There's something ominous coming from it. Dr. Latham. You won't believe me when I say I'm relieved. Maybe not. David. The 
cloning technology. I have no secrets now. I came here because it's the last place I knew where I thought we could be safe. You don't need your weapons, I'm not armed. This was, as you probably guessed by now, the final assembly point for the Alpha Android. You're Mr. Favre here. My daughter. I'd introduce you, but she's listening to the music. It makes her happy. Unfortunately, it's one of the few things she can truly enjoy now. And you'd do anything for her, wouldn't you? Are you expecting someone? Yes. I'm expecting a small transport to get us out of this place. To Mars, hopefully. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'll not lose her again, Detective. I don't understand. Does a guy like Becker find someone like you? It wasn't Becker who found me. McGuire. Yes. I'm sure it was just like any deal between ruthless people in the beginning. I have no idea what their agenda was, but I can tell you that McGuire was planning to double-cross recall and sell the Alpha technology to the highest bidder. I refused to help first. Then they found I had a daughter. They took her from me. They put her in a place where men paid to watch. I still didn't think they were capable of this. To destroy her mind. Work with us. Together, maybe we can help her, all right? You have my word, we'll try. What do you got? Dr. Latham. Did you build this place? I was one of many subcontractors. Because I made the tissue that gave you consciousness, I was more important than most, but still only one of many. I was brought to this room just that one time, blindfolded. But from the scraps of information I gathered for my own purposes, from the brief experience I had here, I can tell you that whoever made you was not necessarily human. Not human? I believe it was a machine consciousness who conceived and ultimately manufactured you. I guess a machine yearning to be human. was supposed to be the Holy Grail, the place where the Alpha Android was conceived. Why, you dick, what do you want? I want the doctor and his daughter. The girl has been damaged enough. No, she's the ace in the hole. She's the only thing that motivates the old man to keep telling the truth. She is under our protection. We will not surrender her willingly. Do you know, I kind of like being a man of action.
okay? Yes. David, Latham's gone. In a couple of minutes, he'll be out of our jurisdiction. I will contact IPC Shuttle Control. Perhaps they can still get a lock on Latham's transport. IPC Shuttle Control, detected the Infarv CPB requesting a lock on outbound transport from Pier 19. He couldn't resist going after the Alpha technology. Meanwhile, the only man who can tell us about it has escaped. Did you believe him, David? Lathan? I believe he would have done anything to save his daughter. About the rest, you tell me. How odd this should be here. They haven't used chips like this for 20 years. All I can say is I'm learning things about my nature that it seems my maker does not wish me to know. Then maybe it's better left alone. Let's get out of here.